What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Sunday, March 24th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the Draft Dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay, who do we have at the point guard position? I like James Harden from the Houston Rockets playing the New Orleans Pelicans who have the second worst defense overall and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing point guards. James Harden has scored 80, 89, and 62 fantasy points in the last three games, averaging 62.4 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 37 minutes per game with a 41% usage rate. James Harden is 11,500 DraftKings salary. He's 1,100 more on FanDuel, projected at 58.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. This is a fast-paced game. It's a fantastic matchup. I love James Harden here versus a terrible defense in the New Orleans Pelicans. Remember, we added projected ownership, and that will be updating throughout the day as injury news changes. We also added the fantasy points per minute stat here for each player, and we also added a stat that's new to the industry. We call it the hit percentage, and it's the percent chance this player has to hit value at his current DFS salary. And you can access all these new stats even on mobile devices by tapping the dash rank icon. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like Buddy Heald from the Sacramento Kings playing the LA Lakers who have the fifth worst defense overall and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Buddy Heald has scored 43, 45, and 24 fantasy points in his last three games, averaging 34.1 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 32 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. Buddy Heald is 7,100 DraftKings salary. He's 800 more on FanDuel Projected at 34.4 fantasy points here tonight, he's going to need about 36 fantasy points to hit 5 times value. Buddy Heald's been on fire the past couple of games. That's really what you want from him. You want like a 40 to 45 point night. He's certainly capable. He's in a great spot today. It's a fast paced game. Fantastic matchup. So I love Buddy Heald here versus the LA Lakers. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, who do we have at the small forward position? I like Jason Tatum from the Boston Celtics playing the San Antonio Spurs, who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they give up the 11th most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Jason Tatum has scored 28, 29, and 30 fantasy points in his last three games, averaging 30.5 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 31 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. Jason Tatum is 5,700 DraftKings salary. He's 700 more on FanDuel, so I love that DraftKings price. Projected at 29.7 fantasy points here tonight, that's 5.2 times value. So this is a home game, it's a fast paced game. My only problem with Jason Tatum is he hasn't had one of those ceiling games lately. One of those 40, 45, 50 point games. He's got good team history versus the Spurs. Scored 32, 35, and 30 in the last three. There's an implied total of 220 points in this game. So I think he puts it together here tonight. I like Jason Tatum here versus the San Antonio Spurs. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. 
so it's that easy and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video so get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you okay who do we have at the power forward position I haven't picked this guy in a long time I like Anthony Davis for the New Orleans Pelicans playing the Houston Rockets who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they've been pretty good against opposing power forwards Anthony Davis has scored 38 and 37 fantasy points in his last two games averaging 55.6 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 33 minutes per game with a 30 percent usage rate we know he's limited to 22 minutes per game but he's still scoring near 40 fantasy points in those games anthony davis is 7,000 DraftKings salary he's 800 more on fanduel projected at 42.7 fantasy points here tonight that's 6.1 times value so if you don't want to go with Blake Griffin or LeBron James, I like Anthony Davis as a mid-range player. He was out for rest last game. Now it's a home game, it's a fast-paced game, and I think Anthony Davis gets up to play James Harden. So I love Anthony Davis here versus the Houston Rockets. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like JaVale McGee from the LA Lakers playing the Sacramento Kings who have the 8th worst defense overall and they give up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing centers. JaVale McGee has scored 72, 24, and 28 fantasy points in his last 3 games, averaging 25.7 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 22 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. JaVale McGee is 5600 DraftKings salary. He's 700 more on FanDuel, projected at 36.2 fantasy points here tonight. That's 6.5 times value. Don't expect a 72 again from McGee, but he only really needs like 28 fantasy points to hit 5 times value. He's played 34 and 31 minutes in the last two games, so if he gets over 30 minutes, this is a home game, a fast-paced game, and a fantastic matchup. So I like JaVale McGee here versus the Sacramento Kings. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.